Welcome to Melanated Magic TV and this is your host Jessica X and today I am here with an update from a story I did yesterday um, about Cardi B and her dragging men. Well, apparent, apparently, allegedly, I have to make sure I use that term so that I don't get sued. Allegedly, a young man has stepped forward by the name of Kevin Smith stating that he was drugged a few years back by Cardi B and um give me a second I'm finna <clears throat> read what he stated it I first seen this article well I seen a screenshot of it circulating on Instagram Facebook and on some of the blogs it says um Kevin says I was in New York about five years ago training and my trainer suggested we go to the strip club normally I would have turned him down, but this time I decided to go. So, boom, we go to the strip club, and I meet Cardi. I'm feeling her, and I convince her to go back to the room with me to have a drink. I'd been drinking already, so I had to piss. Um, I slid to the bathroom and came back and finished off my drink. Last thing I remember was she was twerking on me, music blasting, and that was it. The next morning, I saw a used condom on the floor. Then I noticed all the cash I had was about $850, my Louis Vuitton belt, and my iPod Touch was missing. I tried calling several times, but soon realized she gave me a Google Voice number. I know she she did it, but I can't I couldn't prove it, so I never went to foul charges. Mainly because I didn't want my fiance at the time to know what happened to me. So I took my L. I can't lie. I was certainly. Hold up, let me go back. I can't lie. It was certainly tra traumatizing, and as a man, I've never want to admit that I was taken advantage of no man wants to say me too smith says well with that being said i i have a few things i want to talk about cardi doesn't seem to think that what she did was like she doesn't seem to think that what she did was wrong she tries to say that what she was going through at the time is what led her to do this it doesn't matter what you're going through. You could, you, look, you're the one who chose to be a stripper. You're the one who chose to sell your body. If you choose to do that, that's on you. But these men who tend to go to the strip club or whatever, I mean, nine t times out of ten, they're not looking to, uh, not even nine times out of ten, they're not expecting to be robbed. So if they happen to think that, hey, well, shit, I think she likes me or feeling me or she want to, you know, just hook up and have a one night stand, they're not expecting to be robbed. They're just thinking it's just going to be a one night stand and that's it. And y'all both go y'all separate ways. They're not expecting to be drugged and robbed. They're not expecting that. But see, what she doesn't take into consideration with her using most likely either, you know, sleeping pills, which is a sedative. She could have used, a, well, she could have used an antidepressant, which some antidepressants are considered sedative. She could have used anything. And with that being said... Anything could have happened. They could have had allergic reaction to this medicine. They could have went into a coma. They could have died. They could have had all types of injuries. Anything could have happened. And she was more focused on getting the bag, getting their money, robbing them instead of going to work or taking on multiple jobs and stacking her paper. She decided to rob someone, put something in their drinks. Something that you, you don't even know if this person is allergic to something. She didn't even, even stop to think if that could have been the case with any of these men she, men she have drugged. She have allegedly have drugged. She didn't stop and think about that. She just thought about herself. 
And the sad thing is, I really feel like in this day and age with how the world is, because she's doing this to men, I highly doubt that anything will happen to her. But I pray something does. Something legally happens because what she doing is actually a crime. She could have murdered someone. Who's to say that she didn't do that? And I'm going to tell you, like, I, I, I know a few years back, one of my good friends, he had something like this happen to him. And he wasn't even trying to hook up with somebody for sex. He said he, you know, was chilling with somebody he met and he thought was like a homegirl. They had been talking for a few months and they decided, you know, just to hang out and chill and drink. And he say he had one beer or whatever and he don't remember nothing. And he woke up, all his bank cards was gone. All his money was gone. He almost lost his apartment. So it this did this doesn't just happen in other situations where, you know, someone's trying to buy, you know, solicit, you know, sex or whatnot. This doesn't just happen in those situations. Like it happens it can even happen in a setting where you meet a girl or someone at the club and they target you because they they look at certain things or whatnot. They target you. They have the sole purpose of putting something in your drink. And then what they tend to do when he said Cardi, he remember Cardi dancing and the music blasting. What she was doing is basically distracting him and until it kicked in and knocked him out. And the moment he was out cold, she did what she did, stole all his stuff. And the reason the condom was left is, you know, I'm just going to be honest. I, I've known people from all different walks of life. I've been, all of my life, I've always been involved in the community. Whether it was on a small scale or somewhat on a larger scale. With that being said, I fed, the, I fed people, I've worked for shelters, all type of things. Right now, I tend to try to target women, mainly women. I talk to men too, younger men, but I mainly target women in certain age groups, between a certain age group who are hired to be sex tra trafficked. Um, who are in that age group. So with that being said, I tend to talk to a lot of them and I've picked up stuff and learned certain things and taught them certain things to make sure that they don't get in trouble and how to get out of that. So it's certain things, you know, I've asked them when it comes to this story. Like I specifically went to certain people to ask them certain things. But a lot of the times, they already come prepared when they go going to drug someone. They already come prepared with it in a little bottle or something. And time you go to the bathroom or turn your head. Matter of fact, they, some of them even do it while you in the room with them. They fixing your drink and pouring something in and you don't even realize it. You just feel like you just had too much to drink. But my thing is, it is never okay to drug someone. No matter the sex, whether it's male or female. And for some strange reason in this society, we are in an uproar when a female is drugged. But when it's a male, everyone is silent. Everyone is silent, but I'm, I'm upset. I have nephews. I have brothers, I have male cousins, I don't have any sons yet. But this terrifies me. This concerns me that people do stuff like this. And then they think it's okay. And then she's putting this in her music. She's all on live and everything. So people are going to think that drugging people is okay. It is never okay to put something in someone's drink. Without their knowledge, you do not know if they are allergic to anything, to something. You do not know. You never know. They can be someone like me who has to carry an EpiPen, who is allergic to certain stuff. So you never know. That's why you don't drug someone. You can go in to try to drug someone and end up murdering them. Then what? 
then what i feel like she needs to be prosecuted she told on herself She's a very, 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 very dumb criminal. And in my honest opinion, she's not very gangster as she claimed to be. Because gangsters, real gangsters, move in silence. Real gangsters don't run their mouth. And they definitely do not incriminate themselves. They shut the fuck up. They don't talk about the stuff they have done. And Cardi is not a true gangster. She is a pretend gangster. She is portrayed in image. Now what I will say, she is 100% authentically hood rat trash. In each community, whether it's the white community, the Hispanic community, the Asian, we all have our low lives of our community, which in our community, we call them Pookie Ray Ray slash hood rats. And she is what you call a hood rat. She is a hood rat trash who just happened to become famous. So her, her hood ratness. It's on the big screen. That's the only difference between her and the bitch who wearing her pajamas and a bonnet and screaming like she done lost her mind to go pick up her child at school. There's no difference in Cardi and the average basic hood rat. They are one in the same. The only difference is hers is on display for everyone to see. I really hope and pray that more men come forward and come forward and that something happens to Cardi. I hope charges is brought to her and then she gets what's deserved to her. And, and these men get justice. Well, today, that this concludes my show for today. I'm going to go ahead and get off of here before my little one come down the hallway and start bamming on the door. Y'all have a good day. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This is your host, Jessica X. Y'all have a good day.